Hi, it's John with Vision Advisors. Welcome to another Insight with Vision. You know, Boston College Center for Financial Research put out a new white paper, January 2019, talking about late life financial risks. For me, the key takeaway was really in the summary and a couple of quotes I want to share with you from that. First one is this, raising life expectancy means that many Americans are going to reach very old ages. For those of you that have been following my blog or previously been reading any of the posts that I've been putting out uh, in my prior time here at Vision Advisors, or if you've heard me speak somewhere at a conference or convention, you know that longevity is, is a big, big deal that I talk about and the fact that we're living longer than previous generations. In fact, Tom Hegna, the PBS economist, says that today's retirees are likely going to spend a third of their lifetime in retirement. The second quote out of this Boston College article, though, is the one that I really think kind of hits the nail on the head. And as you're having client conversations in 2019 and beyond, it's going to be very important that you make sure that you address these key issues as we're looking at longevity. And here's what the quote said. It says, more people will face late life financial risks for which they may be unprepared. The article goes on to point out four key risks and four important conversations you make sure that you're having with your older clientele, those 75 and older. So let me touch on those real quickly. Number one says that today's consumers, all the boomers retiring today, are gonna to be more reliant on 401ks than they were on the traditional pension. Those 401ks for the most part are gonna be subject to market volatility. And if they're gonna be relying on that and looking at the 4% Morningstar distribution rule and, and that's their measurement for taking money out or maybe they're using the new 2.8 rule, if they've got their money exposed to the market, market volatility can have a significant impact on whether or not those dollars are really going to be there to pay living expenses for a long time in retirement. That first point also pointed out in the, in the article itself that there was a lack of guaranteed income sources for many of today's retirees. Now, couple that with another study that we recently shared on that talked about the fact that many of today's consumers that were looking at retirement were most satisfied if they had around half of their income or more coming from guaranteed sources. Point number two from the Boston College article said this, that Social Security full retirement age is continuing to increase. That means today's retirees are going to be waiting longer to get access to their primary insurance amount at 100%. If they take Social Security early, you know they're going to take a haircut. If they wait, they're going to get those delayed credits. But as each month passes, that period where they can qualify for full retirement age gets a little bit further down the track. And as a result of that, consumers need to consider where their guaranteed sources are going to come from if they're delaying Social Security until later in life. Point number three from the Boston College article was this, that there's a significant number of seniors that are beginning to see age-related chronic care needs come to fruition. And really, they're living long enough today for those to become much more pronounced. Remember, there was a CDC study that came out in late 2018 that said that by 2060, we're going to see a 60% increase in Alzheimer's cases here in the United States. And that means over 14 million Americans are going to be directly impacted, both physically, financially, and emotionally, by Alzheimer's and the age-related long-term care costs that come with dealing with that debilitating disease for four to eight, up to 20 years from diagnosis to death. And then the fourth point that the Boston College article brought out was the fact that because we're living longer, widowhood is much more likely. A couple retiring at 65 today has almost a 50-50 chance that at least one of the individuals in that married situation are going to live to the age of 90. So think about that. When we have advanced age at a time that when one spouse or significant other passes away, one of the social security check goes away. More likely to have chronic health care issues arising and becoming more pronounced that could cause more and more money to have to be spent on health care. So these are very real issues that your clients are facing today. So as you're having those very important client conversations in 2019, be sure and address guaranteed sources of income. Be sure and talk about Social Security timing and how that is important in the conversation. Be sure and address the fact that we're living long enough now for those age-related issues to really begin to show up and become more pronounced. And make sure that you're having conversations about survivorship. What happens when one spouse or one significant other passes away? making sure that there's guaranteed sustainable income and proper planning for the spouse that's left behind.